Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So uh, in the last video, we saw what was Amazon Elastic Block Storage that is EBS. So uh, EBS has got three different types uh, according to its characteristic, performance and the cost. So uh, that we'll be seeing in today's video. So uh, let's start with the types of EBS volumes. So the very first type of EBS volume is the EBS general purpose and it's a solid straight drive that is the SSD and it is used for mainly the small and medium workloads and uh, for example root disk EC2 volumes uh, which have at the uh, very initial stage or when the initial configurations are done uh, then you have the small and medium uh, database workloads and then uh, you have the frequently log accessing workloads for all those you use the uh, EBS general purpose that is the solid state drive and uh, SSD supports uh, in this a default uh, 3 IOPS uh, that is uh, input output per second per GBZ and so it corresponds to uh, 1 GB of volume uh, will give you 3 IOPS and so 10 GB of volumes will give you 30 IOPS so it's directly proportional to the uh, as and when you go on increasing the size you get that much kind of uh, input output operations per second that is IOPS and the storage capacity to talk about the general purpose uh, you have for 1 volume you get 1 GB to 1 TB uh, range and the cost of one volume is approximately uh, that is $0.01 per GB for one month. Uh, next we have the uh, a top uh, rated model. Uh, you have the provisional IOPS that is for the SSD again. And it's mainly used for IO intensive applications, transactional workloads and large relational and EMR that is the elastic map reduce and Hadoop workload. So all those for Apache framework which are used in the Hadoop and the big data for that we use this provisional IOPS and the IOPS for this SSD supports up to 30 IOPS per GB and here uh, 10 GB of volume corresponds to 300 IOPS. So uh, but in where in this case uh, if you consider so it's only just 10 GB volume for 30 IOPS but here it's since it's for high transactional requirement you have 10 GB volume for 300 IOPS. Uh, the storage capacity to talk about this for one volume you have 10 GB to uh, 1 TB scalability and the cost for one volume is $0.125 per GB for one month and for provisional storage and for provisioned IOPS you have for one month that is $0.10. Next we have the final uh, volume that is the EBS magnetic volumes. So it was earlier uh, known as something called as standard volumes and it's suitable for workloads which are infrequently accessed like there is no particular pattern or no particular interval where uh, at what uh, period of time during the day you are going to access that. So for that it's specially designed called as the EBS magnetic volume and it's for uh, infrequent data which is accessing the data at some uh, random time and that's for that is data backups for recovery and log storage so there is no particular fixed time for this thing like if uh, anything goes down uh, you have to do as and when required so for that you have this EBS magnetic volume and uh, the storage capacity for this for one volume uh, you have 10 GB to 1 TB so uh, that is same for this uh, as well that is provisioned and the cost for one volume ranges from 0 to 0 0.5 dollar per GB for one month for provision storage and it's uh, 0 0.05 uh, dollar per million IO requests. So uh, that rate uh, cost dependent factor you can see and so uh, it just governs upon this performance cost and uh, this characteristics. So well that was all regarding the types of EBS which are there in the Amazon uh, Elastic Block Store. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you got educated by watching this video, please do like, share, comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching this video.